first Agashka, the President's Awards, based here in Dublin Castle, which is celebrating its 25th anniversary. Originally set up to help young people achieve personal challenges, it's seen about 300,000 young adults and teenagers take part over the years. Goshka's patron, President McAleese, recently presented 50 gold medals. And we met two of those gold medalists to see what's involved. Chris Corrigan from Kalini became a lifeguard as a result of his involvement with the Gashka programme. The new skill I chose was to learn life-saving skills and after a couple of years of training at that I went on to do the beach guard certificate and got a job working here on Dolly Mount. Now I'm teaching life-saving in uh, Glen Alban Pool as well. Last year we had 132 rescues. Uh, we kept fairly busy in this week, especially with the uh, kite surfers and the bow wall is very active at high tide. Well, it's broadened my life experience and I've got into new things, I've learned new skills, uh, made new friends, rose to new challenges and uh, achieved the award. Community involvement is another area of activity in the Gashka project. Today we're at the County Sports Day for Kish Farragher. So we have Dawkey, Ballybrack and Kleine, Johnstown Scouts uh, groups coming together to take part um, in the county event. So we've put on a lot of activities for them, sports activities, and uh, the kids can all take part and have a bit of fun. As you can see, the kids are all having great crack. That's what we try to do, is provide a fun atmosphere for them and help each child progress. I get a sense of fun out of seeing the kids have a fun. That's the enjoyment I get out of it, to see the, the work I'm doing and the volunteering, the time I'm giving up, that all the kids are getting great enjoyment out of it. The gold medal awardees also have to achieve goals in physical recreation and complete an adventure journey. Going on the Wicklow Way was a bit of fun. It was over, uh, over a weekend. Uh, a bit of training involved to, to get the fitness up. And when I was in school, I was involved in the Third World Support Group in Clonkeen College. And, and then I was able to go and see what the charity was doing over in Uganda and uh, how they were contributing to the Third World. Chris was among 50 young people to recently receive the Gashka Gold Medal from President Mary McAleese in a ceremony at Dublin Castle. Take this year, for example, we have almost 17,000 young people signed up for Goshka. That is 17,000 young people who are quite determined to make themselves the best young citizens of Ireland they can possibly be. I think that's a very good deal. And when you backtrack that over 25 years, we have 300,000 of them who have done exactly that. They've tried to make themselves as strong as humanly possible. You have this amazing... Um, group of young people distributed in every aspect and part of the, every aspect of life in every part of the country rural ireland urban ireland and in in their communities every one of them is a is a wonderful resource they're a resource to their family to their street to their school to their community to the organizations they work for these are young people that we know we can rely on because they've tested themselves and they've come through so i think it's a very good deal for ireland also receiving a gold medal, described as the country's highest award for young people, was Emma Hogan from Knock Lion. Um, it was a really good sense of achievement when I finally got the award because I'd been working for, for two and a half years and there's just so much involved that it was just a really great achievement on the day getting it. For her personal skill, Emma chose the saxophone, playing with the Knock Lion concert band. You have to take up a personal skill. So I did my, all my grades as part of that. I started playing when I was about 10, so I've been in the band for nearly 11 years now. I'm finishing my grade eight next month, so then I'll have all my grades done. I like that it's really diverse, like you can play classical music, but you can also play jazz. There's just a lot of room for different types of music. I took part in the Explorer Belt in 2007, and that's a challenge that's run by Scouting Ireland and you, they choose a different country every year and you get dropped off in the country with a budget and a map 
and you have to plan a route of 200 kilometers back to base camp. We found out, like, I think it's a month before we went that we were going to Poland. So it was probably one of the toughest things I've ever done. Like to keep getting up every morning and walking 20 kilometers was like tough in itself, but then also to be on a really strict budget. Like we didn't have any luxuries or anything. And also it was kind of hard finding places to stay at night as well. I play hockey for Three Rock Rovers up on the Grange Road and I currently I'm playing for their second 11 team. Um, I started out on the fifth 11 but over the last three years I've moved up three teams so that's good and I got the most improved player of the year award last year. So it's just really good for developing different skills like I've learned organisational skills, leadership skills, also learned how to work effectively as part of a team so I would encourage anyone in the right age bracket to get into this program because it's just a really good experience for anyone you achieve so much and it's just a nice framework to work towards goals every year you know you think you've just heard it all until you you, you go into the next gold award ceremony and you hear what young people have undertaken when you hear the work they've done in community, how they've got involved with, for example, working with kids who have intellectual disability, um, how they have poured themselves into that work with a heart and a half, you, how they've gone to the, you know, how they've gone to the Antarctic, how they have climbed Kilimanjaro, you know, it's beyond credulity what they have taken on at a very, very, very young age. When I'm on that stage and you see, in particular youngsters, uh, for example, with Down syndrome, or youngsters from really very, very disadvantaged backgrounds, w striding up to that stage and taking, getting their gold medal on exactly the same terms as every other single young person there, no matter what the circumstances of their birth, no matter what their ability, that these young people took on that challenge and saw it through and achieved the same level of accomplishment as everybody else. That's a, it's a day like that, you just think this is, this is miracle. Uh, this is the miracle of the human spirit just transcending everything that life threw at them. They pitched themselves into it and came through and came through with gold. And you can find out more about Goshka on their website.